Hi, in this tutorial, we will go to set up AdMob ads in our mobile game. First, go to Tools, Mobile Monetization Pro Integration Tool, in Ads and the Ad Network to be AdMob. First, click on Download AdMob SDK, and here you need to ins install the plugin. Click on Download the plugin. Scroll down and here click on Google Mobile Ads version 8.7.0 and download this. Import the Unity package. Apply. You need to install the native SDK as well. Click on Download Add More Native SDK. Scroll down and click here Download. Open this package in Unity. Click Import. After this, you can ignore the step 3 for now. We will talk about how to create AdMob mediation in the later tutorials. For now, we will going to integrate AdMob ads only. Now, in the step 4, you need to click on import the required scripts. Click on import required scripts and import it. Great. So the Google Mobile Ads SDK is already installed even for the GDPR. So we do not need to install it for the GDPR. So you can ignore this. And let's close this tab. Clear the console. After clearing the console, right click in the hierarchy, create an empty game object, and call it as Ads Initializer. Here, go to Mobile Monetization Pro Tools, Mobile Monetization AdMob Manager, and then the script. And here, drag and drop the AdMob Ads Initializer script. Right click in the hierarchy again and create another empty game object and call this one and this one drag, this time drag and drop add move ads manager. First, if you look at the ads initializer script, you will notice that there is an enable GDPR consent message. We need to keep this to be checked so that we can show the GDPR consent message when the game begins. If you want to know how to create the GDPR consent message, there is a tutorial in the documentation or you can watch it. And the mobile monetization pro playlist on YouTube. Just create a GDPR consent message by following the tutorial. Make sure to keep it to be checked. For the add unit IDs, let's create add unit IDs in the AdMob dashboard. In the AdMob dashboard, first you need to choose the platform to be Android and is the app listed on a supported app store? Choose no in this case and click continue. For the app name, I will go to type size shift and draw it and click add app click done now we need to add the add units click on add add unit here let's add the banner and let's call it to be banner android as we, we are not using the mediation i will go to keep it to be unchecked for now and click create add unit Now, let's click on Add Add Unit again, and this time let's choose Interstitial and call it to be Interstitial Android. Like, let's create Add Unit. Click Done. Add Add Unit again, and this time choose the Rewarded, and here type Rewarded Android, and just click Create Add Unit. Click done. Add another ad unit and this time we will choose app open ads. Let's click on app open ads and app open android. Let's create ad unit. Let's click done. And finally we need to select the native. So just click on native advanced and here you can choose native android and click on create ad unit and click done you can do the same thing for the ios as well here are the ad units that i have created for the ios game select the size shift android and this time let's copy and paste all of these units to the unity project let's copy the app open ads and paste it over here
Just do the same for the iOS as well. So I've already copied and pasted it for the iOS as well. Now we have created the ad units for the ad mob. Now let's click on show banner ads in start checkbox so that we can display the banner ads when the game begins. If you uncheck this, then inside the ads manager script, you will notice that the there is a button called show banner ad button. You can here drag and drop the button, which will be responsible for showing the banner ads when clicked. For example, if, if, you, if you drag and drop the play button over here, then if the game begins and when the player clicks on the play button, only after that the banner ads will start displaying in the game. For now, I am going to keep it to be checked so that we can display the banner ads when the game begins. For the banner position, here I will choose it to be the bottom. Here you can see the option enable timed interstitial ads. Keep it to be checked so that we can display the interstitial ads after every x amount of seconds. In this case, as you can see, interstitial ad interval second is 10. That means after every 10 seconds, interstitial ads will be displayed to the player. Interstitial ad will not automatically display to the player. For this, it will require a button. In this case, we can use the reload as well as, for example, the level complete button. For example, if the player clicks on the reload button and the interstitial ad interval seconds has passed, which is the 10 seconds, then the interstitial ad will be displayed to the user. When the interstitial ad is closed, again the timer reset it and if the user clicks on it again, the interstitial ad will not be displayed until the 10 seconds timer is completed. So after every 10 seconds, if the user clicks on any, any of the button responsible for displaying the interstitial ad, it will going to show an interstitial ad to the player. This can actually help improve the overall gaming experience for the player. So I will going to keep it to be checked. For reset interstitial ad timer on rewarded ad, let's keep it to be checked so that if the player watches a rewarded video ad and close it, we do not immediately show an interstitial ad to him. We can reset the interstitial ad interval in this case to improve the gaming experience. So I am going to keep it to be checked as well. For the app opens to check before showing an app open ad, basically this means that if the user opens the app in the whole day three times for example, then at the third time we will go to display an app open ad. Let's change it to be one so that every time the user opens the game, he will be able to watch an app open ad. Just for the testing purpose, I am going to choose these values, but you can definitely change these values according to your game. At the bottom, you can see an option called delay show app open ad. Here, the delay is important for app open ad because we need the time to load an app open ad before start showing it. So. If you load an app open ad and immediately show an app open ad, there is a possibility that the app open ad do not get showed. So we basically here adding a delay. So app open ads will get the appropriate time to load successfully and then after 2 seconds we can show the app open ad. So I am going to keep it to be 2. Now for the ads manager, let's click on the ads manager and here for the debug ad inspector. I will going to talk more about debug and inspector in the tutorial ad mob mediation. So I will going to uncheck it for now. For the ad inspector button, you can leave this to be empty for now. For the native ad callback, for the native ad callback, you basically need an image where we can display the native ads. For this case, I have already gone and created this native pop-up, basically a banner. What I did is I created a cube and inside this cube I created this little pole and added this canvas 3D and inside this canvas 3D I chose the render mode to be world space and added the main camera over here and I also added the image. In this image basically we will going to display the native ads. Let's choose the ads manager again and here drag and drop this native image over here. For the interstitial ads callbacks, let's click on these plus sign two times. And here we will going to add the reload button as well as the next button. Look at the gameplay UI and uncheck the menu for now. You will notice that there is a reload button over here 
just simply drag and drop this reload button over here. So if when the user plays the game and in case he clicks on the reload button, we should be able to display an ad to the player. Uncheck the gameplay UI for now and activate the level complete UI. And here let's drag and drop this next level button over here. Let's click on the ads manager and drag and drop the next level button over here. So if the level gets complete, we want to display an interstitial ad if the user clicks on the next level button basically. For the rewarded ads callbacks, let's deactivate the level complete UI and activate the menu again. And here as you can see inside the menu, I have created a button watch and get rewarded 5000 coins. Let's click on add function and here let's drag and drop this button over here. And for the script, let's simply drag and drop the shop script over here. And here for the function to invoke, I will going to choose show reward. Basically, I have drag and drop the shop script and inside the shop script, there is a function called show reward. This function needs to be public so that we can display it over here. Now, if you look at the shop script, there is a function that I created which activates the reward panel in the game and provide 5000 coins to the user. The reward panel is basically this which basically gets activated and if you click on the play button it just get deactivated and it provides 5000 coins to the, to the player. So we are calling this function that is located in this script using the rewarded button that we here drag and drop great here you can create multiple rewarded ad functions if you want as well as you can create multiple interstitial ads callbacks if you want for now i'm going to choose only one and click on save the changes now we are ready to test the game on the android device but before testing it on the android let's go Back to the add mob and here click on the settings tab and click on the test devices here we need to add a test device let's click on add test device here provide your device a name i will type here android device choose the platform to be android to get the advertising id you need to follow these steps to get the advertising id for the integration testing first open google play store and here search for apps flyer install this application and open it up here you will get this mobile advertising id just copy it paste the advertising id over here for the ad inspector choose none and click on save great so we successfully added the test device Let's also make sure to add the game that we just created to the GDPR consent message by clicking on European regulations and click on manage, click on apps and here make sure to add these two games size shift Android and size shift iOS and click confirm so that the GDPR message can be displayed. Go back to Unity, go, go to file build settings make sure to switch the platform to be android after switching the platform to be android make sure to go to assets external dependencies or manager android is over and click on resolve great make sure that you go to assets google mobile ads and settings and here add your android and the ios app ids over here after doing so let's make a build Let's click on bend and run. In case you receive this error, click OK. Go to your console. Here, to solve this, just go to applicate, just go to this directory. Click on assets, show reveal in folder. Now, just click on the library B. And here, open the Android manifest in a text editor. After opening it up, make sure to remove this line till here and click save. 
close the Android manifest, clear the console, go to file, build and run again and this time it should work. Open up the game. As you can see, the ads are successfully removed from the game. This is because we implemented the in-app purchase in the previous tutorials due to which when we installed the application on the same device, the non-consumable items got restored due to which the ads in the game are automatically removed. To solve this, go back to Unity and here make sure to uncheck the in-app purchase manager just for the testing purpose so we do not initialize in-app purchase manager and go back to file and build and run again. Click on allow notification. This is the GDPR consent message. Let's click on consent. Now below you can see the banner ad and this is the app open ad that is loaded after a few seconds. Let's click on continue to app. Now let's click on the play button and here you can see the native ad is also loaded and we can see it over there. Now let's try to click on the reload button to be able to see the interstitial ads. Let's click on reload. And yes, we can see the interstitial ad is also showing successfully. Let's close it. Now let's try to watch the rewarded video ad. Let's click close the rewarded video ad. And now you can see the player has received 5000 coins. Let's click on game. So we successfully tested the game on the Android device. Now if we will going to test the game on the iOS device. To do this, first go to file, build settings, choose the platform to be iOS and click on switch platform. Make sure to go back to the add mob and here click on add test device and this time add the iPhone device. Choose the platform to be iOS and here to get the advertising ID, follow these steps. Go to App Store and search for Apps Flyer and you need to install the first application and click open and here you need to copy this advertising ID from here. Paste the advertising ID over here and click save. Go back to Unity and this time click on build. Let's open Unity iPhone XC workspace file. Make sure to connect your iPhone and select it from here. Go to Unity iPhone, choose the app category to be games and run the game. Click on allow notifications. This is the ATT pop-up. Click on allow. This is the GDPR consent message. Let's click on consent. This is the app open ad. Let's click on continue to app. And you can see the banner ads are also loaded in the bottom. Let's click on play. As you can see the native ad is also appearing. Let's now reload the game. And this is the interstitial ad. Let's now try to watch the rewarded video ad. Let's click on reward it. Let's close the rewarded video ad. And here you can see we got 5000 coins in the game. Let's click on claim. Great. So we successfully tested on the iPhone as well. Thanks for watching this video.